Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kem of Glam by Kem. I'm a makeup artist based in Lagos, Nigeria, and a YouTuber. And my studio is located at Sabuya, but to be precise. So today I'll be recreating um, a look I saw on, on YouTube by Regard Royale. Yeah, I think that's her name. I'll put up the picture here, somewhere here. Yes, I will. So it's a butterfly look, and I said to just bring something nice to you guys. This is me stepping out of my comfort zone. <laughs> so guys, I don't know. Fingers crossed. What's the worst that could happen? Nah, we'll kill it. I know we will. So thank you guys so much for getting me to 400 subscribers. You guys are the best. It's it's a big it, it's a big deal for me to be sincere. It is a big deal for me, and I appreciate. It. Please guys, keep on sharing my link um invite your friends everybody to subscribe to my channel this is month of april happy new month yes so let's get to 500 can we do that <laughs> guys can we i know we can thank you let's head right into this tutorial so guys i went ahead to use minister um concealer palette as my base this part of my concealer it's a bit messy because i've had it for a while so i had to use a lighter shade as a base because and there's something more like um a whitish color to so just help the shadows pop i have to zoom it closely for you guys because you guys are my sweethearts <laughs> so this is me just blending the concealer hmm guys blending the concealer on my skin was was kind of uh would i say um scary kind of because i've never done this kind of look before but i have to just blend the concealer on my on my um my skin because we all know from the picture i showed you guys that the shadow was extended to that area so this is me using an orange color from the blossom palette which i showed you guys earlier yes and i'm blend i'm tapping and blending into my crease guys my blending game was tested in this makeup oh. <laughs> we did all good yeah because we are all professionals <laughs> so i had to do the same for the other eye i just blending i'm just blending the um, orange shadow don't don't mind the um the concealer still showing at the edge because i'm still gonna blend it up and that's me using a yellow color from the same palette to, do, to go yeah to go up to the area which um the orange is not applied on yes um <laughs> and i'm going to use the orange to blend the sorry the yellow to blend in with the orange so you basically would not see where it started from and where it ended it just blends in together and that's what i'm doing now so if you want to recreate this look feel free but i don't know if mine was as awesome as hers but yes we cured it in our own way so i had to do the other eyes and i was really um i was really particular about um leaving most of this videos for you guys to see not to fast forward them because i need you guys to get the details so i'm still blending with the orange i had to blend in with the orange as well and i'm blending it out because the wing or the fly or the butterfly <laughs> is kind of extended and i think i, I made a bit of mistake here because i went um overboard to really extend my wing you would say it um and the finished look so i went ahead to use queen amina or rather queen nana 2 and i'm using a pink shadow from the queen nana palette has a tarot palette if you've not shopped from them please do well to shop they have amazing products so i'm still using the pink to blend in with the orange and i'm blending it out the same thing i actually did with the orange that's what i'm doing with the pink but it's all going to mix with the orange and it's going to give us a really um vibrant color which will be well blended yes that's the idea so that's the same thing i'm doing over here so if you're finding this video interesting please 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 give us a thumbs up 
just like this video drop a comment in the comment section down below and i'll do it to respond and i went ahead to add a bit of red yeah from the same palette from the same bottom palette because from the picture i saw there was a bit of red going on in the um in the shadow she used so i had to blend it in go back with my yellow um brush again i and i used separate brushes in this video because i didn't want the colors mixing with with um each other because it, it might just defeat the purpose of having these colors um all blended up but still um able to pop on its own i don't know if the english makes sense to people yes so that's what i'm doing i went in more of much uh, more of the orange the yellow shadow sorry guys so i which shadow am i using here i think that should be the purple yes so I went ahead to use the purple and the pink more like diff two different shades of purple and we're still going to blend on the outer uh right now we're going to concentrate on the outer corner of the eyes more like the wing you know when you're trying to um do your wing liner i was kind of tired here <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> when you're trying to do your wing liner yes that's the area you focus the purple on and i had to just fast forward the video here i hope you're enjoying this video please yes thank you wow guys this was not <laughs> an easy video but yes we had to do it for content <laughs> so i went ahead to use the orange again to blend in the pink and everything going on I don't just want to miss out on any color i don't want any color to overshadow the other but i just want everything to be well blended that's why i um, I, I keep going back to the original color and the brushes to, to still um pop it more but still in a way blend it in to all the other shadows so i went ahead to use a precise brush yes to apply the purple yeah don't mind my brush i've had that for years too and i don't want to let go you know that kind of brush you have had for years and it still gives you the thing so why would you change it so this is me using the clown whites to cut my crease i think i have a tutorial on on how i do a cut crease yes so i had to cut my crease using this white base because it's still going to, like i said it's still going to help my my shadow the main color pop so I had to look up in order to help me um, cut the crease to know where the shadow, um, rather the base touches so I could just, yes, drag it down. I'm blending it. The fact that you're applying a primer or a base does not mean you should just leave it like I should still blend it up because it's still going to um, affect your shadow in a way. Yes. If it's patchy, your shadow is going to end up patchy. So guys, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that now. Thank you. So this is me using Queen Amina 2 palette from Heart of Tara. And I'm mixing the peach and the kind of silver um, shadow together for the main color of my um, crease. I just didn't want to go in with a peach, just a peach, because I just needed um, the, the what, what's it called, the silver to mix to mix the tone or something to just get, give it a bright and lovely color from what i saw in her in her picture i just didn't want to like do the exact color but i just needed to add a, something you know something different i don't know guys but yes so this is me going into the purple to still blend at um blend out the edge have you shared this video hello have you shared this video have you shared this video <laughs> please do well to share this video to your family friends and the rest so i went ahead to use my red shadow on top of um the pinkish shadow we used earlier at, to cut the crease so after using the red i went in with the orange so i just needed to like build it up in a diagonal manner 
yes so after that i went ahead to use my nyx jumbo pencil for my under eye yeah i just needed, needed something to help me open up my under eye, under eye so i had to use this white jumbo pen, pencil i've had this for a long time and it's it's been lovely i've used it in uh, yeah in a couple of my um pictures on instagram i don't think i've used this here on youtube please if you're just coming across this video for the first time if you're just coming across my channel for the first time please subscribe like and comment yes so we're done with the upper wing and i had to recreate the um the lower wing so basically i used the same shadows i used for the um upper wing for the lower wing i just had to just replicate the purple the um uh, orange the red the yellow everything came down to play yeah but i just had to be careful i was really really careful because i didn't just want everything all over my face in this kind of tutorial in this kind of uh, makeup you don't have the chance to more like put a setting powder to help you catch up some fallouts so this is me being really really careful and after which i used a brush to blend off the excesses the little excesses because i was really careful in creating this look guys and after that i had to use um the yellow shadow the orange and the pink to blend up um the under eye guys i took my time my strength in creating this video for you guys because what well, i love you guys because what well, you guys are the best yes i said so all right if you've gotten up to this video let me ask a question have you shared it have you shared this video have you all right <laughs> so please do, do well to share this video i went ahead to use my um black liner in uh, this this is zaron cosmetics yeah it's from zaron cosmetics to outline the wings just the area that um the purple is obvious yeah i tried not to include other colors in while i was drawing the wing or rather the um the black liner and i was being careful as well not to smell ah guys hmm okay so after that i went ahead to draw a line in between more like a diagonal line or a straight line yeah something like that but i made sure it didn't just go across uh the other colors it just topped at the purple as well the same way the other line just topped at the purple i made sure my other these um other diagonal lines stopped at the purple as well but i had to more like give a space in between but not so much of a space yeah so after that i went ahead to use my um jumbo pencil again to create a white dot because i saw from the picture that she had like some white dots going around um the wings so i just had to use the jumbo pencil to create that and mind you i didn't set um my makeup after this um this whole thing because i don't just know what the outcome would be so i already set my face before this whole thing before this shadow because um you get like you saw i did my foundation and contour and the rest so i don't know if you would want to set it if you would like to play this look so i went ahead to still do the same for my under wing and after that i used my brown pencil from i think i don't know brand but to line my lips and some um concealers just something light i just didn't want much going on on the lip because the eye already speaks wonders <laughs> it speaks what wonders guys and i used a gloss to top it up and we are ready hey guys so we're done and this is the final look is it cute? is it something you would love to try hmm? is the butterfly flying or is it just fetching somewhere <laughs> <What>? <laughs> guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below and i'll be there to reply all your comments if you would love to see more of this look please do let me know <laughs> yes i'm hoping that you guys to know if we're going to continue being creative or we're sticking to the usual glam 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 you get it <laughs> i know you do okay guys please do not forget to like comment and subscribe yeah share 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 this video share this video if you enjoyed this video share and the comment um the notification bell as well yeah, so you get inspired each time. Oh.
so guys see you in my next video bye